Today we're going to install some door sill guards. As you can see, Pongo's been pretty beat up already. You can see there's several dents on this one and some scratches. The driver's side has already been scratched and all of this paint is missing already. We definitely want to cover up and protect that. The passenger side is a little less. You can see a couple of scratches. And the passenger rear is not bad at all. We're using an OEM part. This is a Toyota part. There's the part number. And it costs about $50 at your local dealer. Inside the kit, there are the four pieces. The little back door ones with the Toyota logo and the front door ones that actually say Tacoma. The first step is to clean each of the door seals. Because they tuck up under the little rubber here, we want to just take a soapy water and spray it down and wipe it. Make sure it's all nice and clean. <laughs> and repeat four times. The spray bottle is just water and some Dawn dishwashing soap. So as you can see, here's the driver's side back door. It slides just up underneath the, the weather seal and try to line up on the kick plate right here and push it up. There are two ways to do this. We could try it dry. This stuff is purportedly super sticky and tough to, to, to position. So we are instead going to try the wet method. I'm gonna spray just a little bit on the seal. Don't wanna make it too wet. And first try. Peel it. And let's slide it up in there. And starting from the center, try to push out as much water as possible. Air bubbles. So I am worried a little bit about the dents on this one, whether or not I can get it pressed in there good enough to seal. But it looks like it did it there. Just keep working it and get the bubbles and the water out. All right, one down. All righty, number two, driver's side. The one that I really wanted to do. Well, if you wonder why I'm choosing wet over the dry method, when I was watching the videos online, uh, the people that put them on dry were having air bubbles and having to poke little holes to get it out. And everyone that I saw that was wet did not. So um, that's what I'm hoping for. So again, I'm not gonna over wet this. It doesn't need to be sopping wet in my opinion. And peel this one. So again, that kicks up. We're going to line up the two holes on the kick plate and slide it Ooh. slide it into position where we're happy number three as we like to say in the industry speeding And I think for giggles, I might try the last one dry and see how bad it is. Not a good start, I already ripped the paper. So it kind of goes along with what I suspected. The back door dry is pretty doable. I would not try the long 
pieces on the front. As they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap.